Okay, now we're going to move on to um, an Australasian order of marsupials, the Daziuromorphia. This is a fascinating group of animals, and they are unusual in being um, didactylous and polyprotodont. Uh, actually, in the lab manual, it also called polydactylus. Polydactylus and didactylus pretty much mean the mean the same thing, and um, they contain. Uh, I've got three families represented here. One of them is now ex extinct. That's the thylacine. I'll talk more about. That guy in a moment, but there are many others, including in your lab manual. You've got the qual there that's spotted, uh, the eastern qual, which is a cat-like carnivore. We'll talk about that in, in a moment. Uh, so the uh, Daziuromorphia are um, didactylous and polyprotodont. And uh, when you in the table, uh, you'll see I've skipped uh, two orders, the uh, Microbiotheria and the uh, Pouchy tuberculata, uh, two very interesting groups with, with a small number of species in each. And uh, you should look those up in your lab manual and your textbook if I don't get to them. Fascinating groups, uh, both from South America. Anyway, let's talk about this group here first, the family Micro, um, sorry, Mar, Mar Mycobiodae and uh, represented here by this little guy called the numbat, okay? And its scientific name is Marmacobius fasciatus. Now, if you look at this skull, and I want you to, you, you obviously you can't handle it, but hopefully I can hold it steady enough for you to get a look at its teeth. And you look at this, Numbat. You can look it up in your lab manual as well and get more of an idea about it. And here's the lower jaw. Okay. Very slender, long, slender um, lower jaw. If you have any ideas before I tell you what it what it eats, but it's um it's a type of anteater, and um, it's a an amazing little animal and um, <clears throat> so this is the the numbat the numbat and it's in its own family within the Daziuromorphia now the next two families I'm going to talk about are major carnivores um, one of which is extinct unfortunately or is thought to be extinct since they haven't found any in a long time the thylacinidae or thylacinus sinocephalus and here's the skull you look at that big skull it looks like the skull that you'd see on a, on a gray wolf it's a little smaller than a than a gray wolf this is of course is a bone clone but you see those big canines uh, the teeth are a bit different they're more like tribosphenic molars than the carnassials that you'll see in a, in a eutherian mammal and so on a sagittal crest is there and then here's the lower jaw with a lot of teeth in it again the teeth are a bit different now the one thing i do want to show you here you know if i was to put this picture out for you and then i was to put this one out um would you confuse the two you know you look at this one any idea what this is? Look at that tooth there. This big tooth right there. That's the carnassial, the shearing tooth that eutherian carnivores have. So this is a coyote skull. And even if I didn't put up the upper parts of the skull, if I put out these two lower jaws, okay? Here's the jaw of a coyote, or a, again, it's a bone clone. Wish I had a real one here to show you, but 
Actually, I do have one, but it's not very clean. It's kind of smelly. <laughs> um, but this is typical coyote skull. Okay, clean lines, good shearing mechanism. Okay, this is the thylacine skull. Do you notice anything about it? Okay, I want you to notice this process down here on the lower part of the skull, this process. This is the angular process, the lower part of the dentary here, the back lower part, that's the angular process. The upper part here is called the coronoid process. This lower process here is the angular process and it's inflected. That means it's bent inwards. Notice how it's bent inwards? This is characteristic of marsupials. So if you just found this jaw, you would know it was a marsupial jaw and no other marsupial is as big as a thylacine. So you would know that that was a thylacine jaw. You would not confuse it with a wolf or a large coyote or a large dog. You would know because of the inflected angular process that it is a marsupial. This came from a marsupial because it's got that inflected angular process, very diagnostic diagnostic character. Now, if you look in your lab manual, you'd see that it's listed as one of the diagnostic characters for marsupials, that inflected angular process. Now, we're going to take a look at one more family and a very important family here in the Desiuromorphia, and that is this guy, the family Desiuridae. And these, and we've got one specimen here to show you. This is the ta so-called Tasmanian devil. And um, these have a, a, a bad reputation as being fearsome. And even the scientific name is Sarcophilus harrisi. And it sounds like something out of a horror film, but this is the family Desiuridae. And if you look at the skull, it's a very powerful skull. You can see it's a stubby skull. You know, it's a big sagittal crest here for the at attachment of muscles. Powerful jaws, big canines. And these are powerful bites. They have small auditory bullae here on the skull. And here's the lower jaw. And the lower jaw attaches. There. There you see, it's a powerful biting forces. Okay, and you can see where the muscles attach to the lower jaw, both on the outside and on the inside. And here we got that angular process again that I was just talking about, it's inflected. So you know that this is a marsupial. Um, I will be talking in lecture, hopefully I don't forget, of, um, these Tasmanian devils have been um, inflicted with a horrible facial cancer in recent years, over the past 10 years or less, and they've come out with these tumors on their face, and um, they're horrible. They're, if they're not treated, um, they can they die from the cancers, and the cancers are, are spread by contact with each other through saliva and so on, and they do interact with each other, they tussle with each other in territorial battles and so on. So again, um, we've looked at three families in the Desiuromorphia, all from um, the Australasian region, and um, th this is the only order of, um, of Australasian mammals that are Australasian uh, marsupials that are both um, didactylous and polyprotodont. Uh, the others are either diprotodont and syndactylous or polyprotodont and syndactylous. We'll get to those. So again.